Hey friends, my name is Sonia Frame and I'm going to do something different today. I'm not going to do makeup. I'm going to do hair, um, but I'm first going to introduce myself. My name is Sonia Frame and I'm an independent artist for Saint Makeup. It's an all one compact makeup. I love it ever so much, but I want to show you something different. It's my hair. I'm going to do some stuff to it. Um, but anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about me. I have been a cosmetologist for a long, long time. I'm 52 years old. I graduated, went to cosmetology school, did it until my last child was born. Number four, I was a homeschooling mom. I had uh, four kids. And after the fourth one was born, we decided I would stay home. I was a homeschooling mom too. So I had homeschooling kids, toddler, baby. It was a bit much. So I've been home for 14 years, but I still have an active cosmetology license. So I've always loved everything beauty. I've always loved makeup. I always loved hair. I love people. I loved my job, like loved my job. It took me forever to get over the fact that I was no longer working in a salon and working with the people that I loved so much. But um, I have struggled. If you follow me on any social media, Facebook or Instagram, you'll know that I have struggled with my hair a lot. Um, if you see any old videos of me, I was blonde and um, I had decent hair. I've always had thin, fine hair, but nothing like what's happened in the last couple of years. So we'll just say it was hormonal, I think. Um, I tried so many different things. The conclusion that I came to, if you're needing help because you're struggling is um, I think mine was truly hormonal. In the last past year, I've gotten my hormones more leveled out. My hair was falling out. I didn't have actual bald spots, but like um, even now, if I pull my hair back, you can kind of see my scalp, but it, I would have clumps of hair fall out in the drain um, every time I washed my hair and I never had that before. So. My hair was blonde, so this isn't a video on how to get your hair. I can do one of those, but this isn't a video on how do you get your hair from crappy to less crappy. I because I talk a little bit about how I think I helped my hair, but I really truly think that it was just my hormones, what was going on inside of my body. It stopped falling out so bad. It's actually starting to feel like maybe it's getting a little thicker but it's been a really, really long process. So I used to um, highlight my hair and then I just started coloring it blonde. So if you see any of my old videos, I am actually blonde and any Pinterest, all of that, I'm blonde. And I decided to go dark. My hair, it has quite a bit of sparklies in it. Let's just call it that. Um, so I color it and I just had my daughter highlight it. So I was really trying to keep the bleach off this amount of highlight did not hurt my hair. I tried so. all kinds of products, okay? So I started out with the Olaplex, okay? I started out with the Olaplex system. All I have right now is the I had the shampoo, the conditioner. So this would be, actually this is the conditioner. This was the number five. I don't know what the numbers are, honestly, but I did the shampoo, the conditioner, and the deep conditioner. Um, but I really think things started turning around as far as condition of my hair from not bleaching it, not not um, doing high lift on it and just depositing. But I really feel like honestly, the Joico Defy Damage did better than the Olaplex did. I feel like these were when, when I really noticed a difference and I would alternate between the two of them. Um, I still use the Olaplex deep conditioner or they don't call it a deep conditioner, but let's just for now, call it a deep conditioner, but I did just get their um, deep conditioner, the Joyco one. So I personally, if you made me pick between, I would get the Joyco to fight damage. It's a little less expensive. And I do think it did a little bit better job for my fine, thin, brittle, horribly brittle hair. Okay, so when I before, after I get out and towel dry it, what I like to use on it right now, but here's the thing. It is ever changing with me because my hair, um, what I can use for a long time and then all of a sudden it just won't curl, it'll get all wonky and I'll have to change a product that I put in it. So as of right now, the Biomega Up All Night is what I use for a mousse. Even though it has like a spray thingy there, I spray it in my hand 
and I put it all over my hair. It's probably about the size of a ping pong ball. Then I use this uplifting foam by Aquage. This I spray at the roots and I spray a decent amount. So I just, when my hair is there, I, and then I make sure I put it all back in here at the roots too, to make sure I'm getting volume, 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 okay? And then I put on Lange Hair Lotion Glaze. I've tried some of their other products and I really struggled getting my hair to curl with their products, but I use this one on top of these and it's working really, really well. There's a heat protectant in this. And that's one of the main reasons I use it. But as of right now, it's working really I well. I blow dry my bangs and I take the blow dryer, but I like my hair to be just damp. And then I use one of these on it. The reason I use one of these is I have found, I don't necessarily want it to curl under because I do think that with my face shape, my face is very long. And plus I feel like that, especially when it was shorter, I felt like I looked like a 12 year old and it didn't, I didn't think it was very appealing. So it's not that I loved it for that, but for this, it really gives me lift at the roots. Now I have, I blow dried my hair hours ago. I've had to help run kids around and stuff, but at the roots is where I really need help. Okay. Um, I can get my ends to curl, but I can't always get this to curl. So as far as my haircut goes, um, it's not been cut for a little while. It needs cut. And when it sometimes grows a little longer in the back, like I feel like I'm starting to head the wrong direction. But when I had it cut, she did cut the back a little tiny bit shorter and I layered it. It had been all one length for quite a little while and it doesn't have a lot of layering, but I do have some, if you can see. I just thought I'm done. I can't get any volume at the top. My hair is too thin. And if I used a one inch curling iron, it, um, it would have it all down here and none up here. So I thought I've got to get some layers and get some of that up there. So what I'm going to use today though, is the Laduo Lange, Lange's Laduo. It has a, it's like a flat iron curling iron. Um, I like it because it has this, I've tried wands. I've tried all kinds of things. Um, I have some opinions about some of those too. I really do like this because it has this is the main reason that I like it, but it has a fan that runs and I feel like that helps set the curl in as you're moving. So I'm going to speed this up as I go because you don't need to hear me um, or you don't need to watch me curl, curl, curl and talk this whole entire time. But when I, when I curl this, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to flip it over the opposite way of what I curl it. Okay. And I'm only going to curl this part of my hair. This all can just stay straight. Sometimes I'll kind of flip it up on the sides a little bit if it's curled under too much, but I'm not even going to mess with that today. But this is the only part that I'm going to curl and I'm going to curl it all back. Most of the time when I curl it, I'll show you here when I do it, my hair is thin and fine, so I can't put too much in a piece. So, you know, that's a fair amount but I want most of my curl up here and then I want it straighter down here. So you guys have seen all the, all the beachy waves or all those with their straight ends. That's kind of what I do, but I'll tell you what, if I leave, if I curl half and leave half like this much of it, like say three inches, two inches of it straight, the curl will come out of my roots. So I have to put a little bit more curl in it than I want. It's frustrating, but I have to get it bigger. So then when it falls, it's right where I want it. So when I do this, I don't have anything on my hair, but my styling stuff, um, because if I put any hairspray or anything before using this, it will stick to it and it won't let it move. So I do this and I curl it immediately there. I have to hold it for a little tiny bit and then I'll pull, all right? So see how that right there is kind of straight, kind of curled. And then I'll just come through and do this the whole way. The back of my hair is shorter. So I have, I don't really have the room to leave any of it straight with that, um, with the Laduo. So I really have to put curl back there. So again, I'll go like this. I'll kind of hold it, leave about that amount out. 
and then I'll turn as I go through the ends. All right, now, here's the thing, and this is why I don't do videos. You see this right here? That curl might come straight out. <laughs> And the only reason I'm doing this video is because I feel like when you have really fine, thin, and then all of a sudden really hugely uncooperative hair, it is really frustrating to see all these beautiful haired women do these things and they get such volume and such control and such a natural feel. When I'm done, mine will feel dirty. I have to dirty my hair up so much or all the curl comes out. So I do like to, when I'm curling it, I don't like to curl it down. I like to keep it so it's like pulled up because then that way I can get as much volume as I can. So see how I, I'm gonna hold it for a little bit and kind of keep it moving and then I'm gonna pull it out. If you get too much curl, sometimes you can pull it. If you get too much on the ends or just straighten it, either way. All right, so I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around. You can see about how much hair I've grabbed. Sometimes I get rammy and get too much. So there we go. Hold it for a second and then pull. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to quit talking and I will see. Okay, so now is when the crazy stuff starts. <laughs> I have to, I cannot touch my hair unless I have, it, it has to be dirtied up. So let me move this down just a little bit. Okay, so, I, have, I love this stuff. They were out of stock for a long time. This is called, it's Osis, it's Schwarzkopf's Dust It. It's literally like putting cornstarch on your hair. That is just about what it feels like. Prior to that, that is my favorite thing to have. But when I couldn't get it, I would get this Artistry Pro Tactile by Sexy Hair, okay? And I would spray it on good. It felt, it had a little bit of hold, but it dirtied my hair up. Like it just, it just made it feel, um, if you've never used anything like this, you know how cornstarch feels? That's literally what it makes your hair feel like. If you cannot stand that, you have super thin, fine hair, you can't stand feeling things on your hair, then you're not gonna like either one of those products. So if you don't even like hairspray or whatever, then you're gonna have to probably, I can't think of any styling aid that you would put on when it was wet that's gonna make it have volume. It's really the products that you're going to use after. I mean, I've never personally ever found anything. And you could use the hardest gel around. <laughs> so. 
I don't like the delivery system of this. I wish it came in a pump so you'd have more control. Because what I end up doing is sometimes I feel like I get too much in areas, but there's really no way to change it. So I'm, I'm literally, you're going to see how much I'm pouring on better than I will. So I start doing this. Whoa. And I try to get it basically at my roots. And then I can feel, I can feel how like hard my hair becomes on whether I got it on there or not. Like I felt like I, I yeah, I can really feel it over here because I got a lot. And then I kind of just keep moving it through. When you feel it, it's really hard to almost like, I cannot even explain how it feels. I'm not, it's see, it's really hard to put on. So I actually put my head upside down. Let me do this and put it underneath and it helps. Okay, I think that's just gonna be good enough. Um, and then I take, like I have this, I can feel that it's through here, okay? It's kind of even. And then I start flipping it this way and then running, this is a teasing brush, life-changing because I use this end all the time and I like it better than a teasing comb. Okay, run your, run your pick through it, run it through here. And if you want, again, my hair is not gonna feel soft. So I'm gonna put either a little hairspray or I'll use a little bit of this tactile. This comes out really forceful to hold what's underneath and get me some volume. Okay, then I will flip this back over and then this is where sometimes some of my pieces, they just, they'll go straight, not even kidding. So when I, when I run my fingers, I'll turn it to help keep that volume in it. And then I, I make sure I go underneath and lift it out. Okay, so this is what I get to, this is a very typical hair day. It goes like this, right? I have some volume up here, so this isn't bad. This actually turned out pretty good. Usually what I videotape, it's the worst hair day ever. But I'll take through, I will take this right here. I'll kind of lift it up. And then I do put a little bit of teasing in. Just so it'll stay. But I don't comb out the curl when I'm doing it, okay? So I put a little bit of teasing there, a little bit in the back, and a little bit. So it's basically just all around the crown is where I put a little bit of teasing. And I get kind of wild with the teasing. Because if I don't, it'll just go flat. And personally, I kind of like big hair. I mean, big for me. All right. So then I just start... This is like a movable hairspray. And then I just start taking this and putting it into place. But this is the thing that I have learned with my hair, okay? I can be a perfectionist and like you'll look at it and you're like, oh, you know, you want this here. And you, just, you have to stop. When you have hair like this, Besides, I don't want bit fuzzy clumps or anything like that. So I'll, of course, you know, look at the back and make sure that it's not all in one clump or whatever. But other than that, you just kind of have to let it, let it, let it do its thing. Because otherwise, I end up making everything worse. If you want the pieces separated, like kind of lift the curl up and just... Like, I have no idea what the back of my hair looks like right now. But, okay. And then this was Matrix Style Fixer 5. It's pretty movable. They say 5, but finishing spray. It's like, it's medium. This Super Hold Kenra 25 is not. It is that Hello People...
You got it. It's going to stay. We're good. So see, like I can really, and this will do it. So. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, you get the point, right? Okay, so that is my hair in a nutshell. That's not so bad. And I have bangs because um, it is so thin that I have a really hard time getting it. It just, it's better with bangs right now. I was going to grow them out and my, honest to Pete, my hair is feeling thicker. I hate to say it, but sometimes I wear them down, like straight down like this. Um, if you can part your hair in the middle, the bangs are super fun because then you can, you know, you have it right here. But for now, I'm kind of just swooping those over and I'll spray them just a little bit. And that's it. And there you go. It's kind of like... Not bad for craptastic hair. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't have a rat's nest in the back. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. And I hope, if anything, you can just laugh. Just laugh, just have fun, right? Let's just have fun. <sighs> okay, and again, if there's anything I can help you with, I will list everything down below. I'll also list some makeup stuff, what I have on today, in case you're wondering, and then it'll help us all remember. So if you ask later, I'll be like, I don't know what I had on. Um, I'll put everything down in the description below for the color match, um, where you can find me on all the places and all the products that I use. So, all right, see ya.